Welcome back. We're now in the losers bracket of the NSESA uh, top eight. Uh, we have Gretna versus Carney. Uh, Gretna, we have Jackson Selfridge, aka Lieutenant. Uh, Belmont Man, I think believe he's a junior. And then we have Saradol. Uh, Austin Himes, who is a freshman, or not freshman, sorry, sophomore Bowserman. I think we just just connected with our mic. Yeah, but it's fine. We're experiencing some technical difficulties. And Carney, as we already introduced them, with Joshua Skies and Zachary Madison, both seniors, with, with Lucas and a Falco. Certainly an interesting matchup, wouldn't you say? Yeah, uh, Lucas, Falco, both not too bad against... Uh, not too bad against either of those characters. They're just setting up their button combinations and control, control settings right now. Yeah, we'll have to see how this one goes. Uh, I do know Lieutenant, though. Lieutenant is a very good player. Uh, does very well outside of school esports, just as a general Smash player. Uh, I believe he lost to Lincoln East, who has two of the best players in the entire league. Uh, with Shadow and Dylan TC, uh, the DDD Wolf. So, losing to two very good pro opponents to make it into loser's bracket this early is kind of unfortunate, but we'll I believe in the loser's run. Excuse us if you hear any background noise. Our everyone in the room is very excited. Oh, I forgot something in the chat. Shout out to Dylan Z. Let's go Dylan Z. Not Dylan TC. Definitely not. <laughs> Well, while they're setting up their controllers, I was I wanted to ask about like their t team compositions. Yeah. For example, Gretna, for Gretna, they have a Belmont and a Bowser, like a like a projectile heavy character with some good uh, mobility, and Bowser, a hard hitting bruiser, who's actually the, one of the heaviest characters in the game. Yeah. Uh, I personally wouldn't say that uh, the Belmont have very good mobility. They're one of the slower characters in the game, but. They're able to hit from very far, so uh, being able to kind of wall out your opponent while Bowser just gets in and does very hard-hitting moves, uh, going to go. I believe that will go well for their team. Meanwhile, we have uh, Falco on the other team with Carney, who is a spacey, and Lucas, who is a projectile, who focuses more on projectiles and like air air combos. Yeah, two aerial-based characters against two characters that thrive very well on the ground. Uh, Gonna be interesting. See if they can catch their jumps, catch the landings, while uh, also just juggling Belmont Bowser. Uh, we still gotta see if they're gonna play their mains. They might not. But they might, but they might. Uh, yeah. I believe I know Lieutenant's going uh, his main, but I'm not sure about everybody else. All right, getting started into this first game, going random stage. Donkey Kong. Serial so not going Bowser, opting for the DK. Kind of interesting. Uh, Lieutenant still going Belmont, however. His uh, his tried and true man. Oh, they just got up the team colors. All right, let's get let's get this hot three v one action. Let's go. <laughs> uh, no, I'm just gonna. I'm guessing X out. Oh, are they just oh, oh, I guess hand warmer? I, I guess they're going with it. Uh, I believe they're just warming up, just making sure they have everything button set, hands warmed up. Uh, how do you think this match is going to go? What do you think the score is going to be? I have a feeling like it. I feel like it could be anyone's game. Like N Belmont and uh, Donkey Kong being slower characters, like. Like Falco and Lucas could easily like get like get the edge of them if they're if they're not if they're not like quick to the edge on it. Yeah, uh, definitely personal bias just because I know Lieutenant. Uh, I do think this might be a pretty 
a pretty convincing game for uh, for them, but it could go either way. I've never heard of either Bird or or Red Panda, so making sure you got the correct teams this time. Never mind, <laughs> teams are still wrong. Uh oh. They gotta make sure they get it correct. All right, there you go. Oh, there we go. All right, getting into this first game. We'll just have to see how it how it all plays out. The first real game, anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Going to PS2 for their first game. Switching off of DK and going Bowser instead. A, uni a unique thing about PS2 is the platform that the characters are on. Because you can easily get stage gimmed and just be stuck underneath the platform as you can't recover. Yeah, it's a very pineapple-y shaped, uh, shaped stage. Or I guess like more is an inverse pineapple. It's like a T. Like, there's a flat bottom. Yeah. Ooh, oh. Red Panda just stole Be Belmont's fire. Yeah, Belmont still being very good at uh, at honestly playing this aerial based game that uh, they're almost forcing him into. Oh, edge guarding. Yeah, that's one thing that this uh, this team's gonna be very good at is just keeping the opponent trapped on the ledge, doing things like this. Double kill. Yeah, Lieutenant very definitely thrives at uh, at pressuring on the ledge, not letting his opponents get off because of that holy fire just trapping the entire space there. Meanwhile, while Sarah Dool is just good at racking up high damage. Well, also yeah. racking up a bit of damage on himself, which could be bad. A uh, heavy character, though, not going to be able to die as easily, so damage not meaning too much to him until he gets to a really high percent. They just got to make sure not to hit each other. Bird isn't really being able to get any of these uh, these clean Falco Ooh. combos. Good kill there, but like honestly, it's been more one-two hit conversions off of, like up tilt forward air. I have seen Fal I have seen Falco Falcos being more combo heavy. Could just be no chance of doing it, but there we go. Oh. Starting the combo, Serdal getting out pretty easily, though. Oh, <laughs> Lieutenant is busy trapping Red Panda over there. Yeah, doing very good at what he's good at. Obviously, that sounded... I worded that bad, but you know what I mean. <laughs> Playing to his strengths very well. Getting reversal himself, even though getting Ooh, off the ledge pretty easily. Half a bird shield away. Bowser also has a move which he can eliminate someone else, someone's shield in one hit. But it's, very, but it's a very risky move, as in if someone dodges it, they can easily counterattack. Yeah, I don't think he's going to be going oh, for too many grab. Bowser bombs. Ooh, but the grab just killed Red Panda. Having Bird set up at the ledge, good save from Red Panda though, throwing Lieutenant away so we can get that almost guaranteed follow up. Trying to reflect, trying to reflect the fire Bird is. Yeah, not a bad uh, strategy, being able to reflect all these projectiles, having a character with a reflector, obviously great against uh, Belmont. Lucas can also reflect technically, but it's less, like, Ooh, it's more Lieutenant risky. Lieutenant trying to go for a ladder combo. Yeah, that downer up yeah, is something the Lieutenant does quite a bit. Uh, gets it a lot of the time, too, but just missing it this time, maybe percentage issue. How's it going in for the big side B slams? Command grabs are very unique. Lieutenant and Saradol, honestly, pretty convincing lead right now. Red Panda and Bird both on their final stock. I just happen to notice that Lieutenant is still at three stocks and Caradol, oh, Caradol is still is now at one. He's at one, but he's at one at zero percent. While these two are very high percentage. Uh, anything's possible. Oh, forward smash. Bird. I do think this game is pretty much wraps though, unless Red Panda can pull something crazy out. Being able to take Looks five. Like Red is getting cor is getting cornered. Yeah, four stock to one difference. Gonna be very difficult to, to close this out. Especially if they just keep him at the ledge like this. Unfortunate get up attack. Honestly, Ooh, ruining Lieutenant's combo. Oh, Lieutenant can't recover. Two stocks still though. <laughs> Lieutenant pressing this big red B button all the time. Working very well though. Looks like Red Pen is playing this very, very smart. Yeah, he's playing very safe, very work around. Oh, I hate Lucas's face when he gets hit by that. He just looks so like shocked. He's like his eyes go like super wide. Would you be shocked if you got smashed off the screen? Honestly, yeah. If somebody whipped me, I probably wouldn't like enjoy that. Well, maybe. <laughs> well, maybe. I'm well. not sure anyone. I'm not sure anyone. I'm pretty sure most people would be shocked by that. Going back to PS2. Uh, interesting choice considering how dominant that first game was, but we'll have to see how they play around it. It looks like the second looks like um, Gretna is sticking with the same strategy while um, Kearney is switching. Oh, uh, it might be just taking a different stage instead of going PS2. 
Yeah, yeah, I was gonna say they kind they kind of picked the stage right away. I figured that might have not been what they were trying to do. Going guys, their mains. Yeah, staying the mains, staying the same tried and true strategy. If nothing gets changed up though, I do think that Lieutenant and Cyrodiil might take this one pretty convincingly again. A better stage for Falco though, just being able to do these combos up and up and up and just up the platforms, having them to extend there. I practiced with um, Carney before the matches began. They were pretty combo heavy in the beginning. Yeah, not being able to get as many combos here though, in, at, at least in the first game. Uh, maybe the stage difference could uh, definitely change that up for them though. Oh, Caridol is making a risky recovery going back to the middle of the stage. Yeah. We'll have to see how they do it. Good up B from Lieutenant. Not killing, but definitely good for racking on that damage. Oh, Lieutenant is focusing on Panda at the moment, trying to edge guard him. Yeah, keeping him at that ledge, keeping him away from the stage. Good side B. Killing. No, not killing. No. But Red Panda is just one good hit away from just saying being sent off the stage. You'll have to see if these projectiles, he can overcome this bombardment. Almost like you're playing a bullet hell, Undertale boss fight with all these all these things coming at you. Ooh. Oh, burn. burn that again. first to die. Ooh, Lieutenant dying too. Going not too heavily, but still in the favor of, uh, of Carney. Good forward tilt. Bird and Red Planet are playing this more, definitely more cautiously, I see. Yeah, uh, not letting themselves go to ledge, trying to just hold center stage as much as possible, interrupting the other while they go for, for these combos. The important thing about Lieutenant is that, he, that the character he's playing, which is being um, Richter, does not, have a, does not have an especially good recovery, and so they might choose to use that to their advantage. Yeah, definitely going off to edge guard more than they were the first game. Uh, Lieutenant still has that whip available to him, though, which can grab the ledge from pretty far away but does not have a very good horizontal recovery. Ooh. Coming much more even, except for Cerdal, who oh. just kind of got trapped by Lieutenant's Holy Fire. Unfortunate turn of events, but still possible for either team. In either man's game. Lieutenant's not doing too good with all these, uh, with not hitting his teammate. He's doing very good though at setting up these traps, almost like not making the safe uh, the, the stage safe to play on. Oh, Bird was trying to, Bird was trying to edge guard Cerodol. Yeah, Bird doing pretty good at that too. Looks like Red Panda is trying to edge guard Lieutenant. Yeah, not getting too... Uh, was doing pretty good, but now getting sent off stage himself. Oh, and Cerodol yeah. is out of the game. Yeah, I don't think he's going to be taking the stock just because... Oh, he is! Oh. Bowser, okay. It is Bowser, however. Bowser can clean but now up Lieutenant can't recover. pretty easily. Being he just has to Cerodol. get a couple good hits, but against Falco. One of Bowser's worst matchups, in my, uh, in my opinion. From the bit I've played Falco. Red Panda is still at two stocks, mind you. Yeah, 152 though, may not be at that long, but I don't know if it will matter oh, forward with that smash. forward smash taking that second game. With Carney getting a win. Yeah, the score is currently 1-1. One, one. Going into this next game, I do think they're going to stay their mains, obviously, but I'm just, uh, honestly surprised on what stage they might go. Or I'm, uh, I'm curious, not surprised. You might be surprised and you're curious. Yeah. <laughs> Going back to Battlefield, not sure if I agree with this pick, but hey, do what you want to, I guess. What, what, what map would you choose for this setup? I honestly probably just would have gone back to PS2. Probably would have been better. They probably know what they're doing. Yeah. I mean, there's a reason we're back here and they're out there, so. Fair. <laughs> yeah, I didn't try out for a... Uh, for doubles, I just don't really enjoy doubles too much. Up and go Sephiroth instead of Bowser. That is a character I know that Cyrodiil also plays. 
going oh, Aegis. Going yeah, did not know he played those characters, but... Gonna be definitely changing up the way they play, though, because uh, they won't have that big, beefy hitboxes anymore to, uh, to rack up damage while Richter just sits on the edge. Cyrodiil getting up, doing something real quick. Nah, it's okay. Oh, they're subbing out Cyrodiil for their uh, for their sub. Who is their sub? That is Carnage. No, great no. Right now, their sub is OG Jack, also known as Jad Pedersen, uh, who is a senior who plays Shulk, a very technical character. Now, Shulk and Lieutenant, though, uh, I mean, Shulk and Belmont, sorry, having this uh, this great range. Uh, not a bad con uh, combination, as they'll be able to just kind of wall out their opponent very well. Yeah, I do believe in the lieutenant, the lieutenant comeback, but we'll have to see. They're gonna want to take off this second stock here. They're gonna have to do something different. You two are really high percent. Sorry, viewers. While they're setting up their setups, we're just gonna take a short little break. All right. I want to go eat. I want to go eat my sandwich in a bit, though. Damn yeah. I got, yeah, my parents got everyone on West Side Subway. Nice. Subway. Eat fresh. Jack not playing Shulk, however, going Byleth. Wait. All right. Okay. Going into this game three, I believe. Any comments about the setup? I mean, I would have honestly, personally, I would have gone Shulk in this uh, situation just because you would have a little bit more range. But having two t very tanky keep away characters is not a bad idea. Oh, opening starts strong and ferocious. Yeah, good opening from Carney, uh, racking up damage a lot faster than the other people have. But we'll have to see how this goes. Honestly, starting kind of slow, but not necessarily a bad thing, especially for Gretna, who have two characters that definitely thrive in a more slower gameplay style. Having Red Panda at the ledge. Oh, edge guarding his recovery very well. Lucas' uh, recovery very exploitable since it's just you're out for so long. You can just go out and hit him. I'm noticing that that Jack is, seems to be slower, like not not exactly capitalizing on things that they could have. Yeah. That's, That's fair. Uh. Honestly, the slower gameplay is probably what they want to go for, though, because look at how that turned out for them. Both taking a stock each. All right, Lieutenant on the ledge now, getting uh, saved by his teammate Jack, however. Oh, wait, he's dead oh. at 23, getting gimps with, uh, with the Holy Fire bottle, not even the fire. And getting stuck underneath the stage itself. Yeah. It's a pity. Both Lieutenant and Jack both still at three stocks. Ooh. Jack now no longer anymore, but he was. <laughs> Lieutenant still at three stocks going strong against the Lucas's edge guarding. Yeah, still a pretty convincing lead. Uh, Bird at uh, two stocks, but almost 100. Could be dead to any good hit here. Lieutenant could be dead to any hit, any good hit here, or just being edge guarded by this Falco. True, Falco much much lighter than uh, than Belmont, however, so it's gonna be a lot easier to to accidentally, almost like almost accidentally, get a straight hit and just a uh, kill bird. Red Panda playing much more safe than he has been though. Or they have been. I don't want to assume anything, but 
Lieutenant getting a good hit in. A good downer up B. Not killing. Really close though, even at like 50%. Oh, that might be too far. Uh, Belmont got that. Built different. Oh, uh, Jack's trying to edge guard Red Panda. And good back throw. Really oh, Red Panda has Belmont's fire bottle. Yeah, Lieutenant still at three stocks somehow. Not being able to die yet. At 155. Nonetheless. Missed F smash from Bird could be detrimental considering he's now on the ledge. Missing that forward air. Stuck at ledge against Belmont though. It's very scary. Ooh, Getting out of ledge, but so is Belmont. Missed forward smash by Jack. Lieutenant dying for the first time this entire set, however. When you have uh, two people still on their last stop, four stocks to two. Pretty good lead. Lieutenant and Jack keep uh, lead trumping each other, but finally getting back. Oh, and Bird goes in for the edge guard. Uh, what was a very, a very convincing lead, now honestly not too far away of a game if it weren't for Lieutenant and him's two socks still. Don't forget that Lucas is at a very high percentage also. Yeah, dead to Man that upbeat. Bird, gonna be very hard for this to make a comeback. But it could do it if he can just play extremely safe. Gonna be really difficult though when you have two characters that can just kill at any moment. Whoa. Like that F smash. An aggressive forward smash, like Bird down. And the score is 2 1 currently. 2 1 in favor of Gretna. We'll have to see. Uh, we'll have to see if they change their strategies or not, but we'll yeah. keep you posted. Depends on what stage they go. They go town and city. Could be. Honestly, I don't. I know I've said this like four times, but I do not agree with that pick. That's a really good pick for Lieutenant and uh, Jack, just because they have so much more range and they're already projectile heavy characters. They have so much more range to just keep them out and throw away stuff. So. So we'll definitely had to got to watch this and see how this goes. But Pyro does as well. Two v one, one stock each. It looks like this might this might end differently. Yeah. I would be uh, very interested in seeing game five. We haven't had one yet. I don't believe. For a good dash attack, catching his opponent, but still sending band off stage. Not getting much out of that holy fire, but. You're almost getting dare dare. That'd be kind of funny. Oh, you just fire into the wrong direction. <laughs> playing very. Not really playing much differently. I think they're just playing better. I believe from uh from Carney. Carney, good forward there, taking out Jack pretty early on into this game. Sub a minute. That was interesting. I like that one. Good down air from Lieutenant, bouncing out, not getting out of the way. Lieutenant saying, we're, Lieutenant saying we're a nice fire trap with Jack accompanying them. Yeah, I do think uh, them, Bird's starting to catch on to the fact that you can just reflect these projectiles super well. Uh, which could be really bad. Especially if they can get uh, Belmont trapped in their own uh, holy fire. Good kill. Bird's now on their second stock. Uh, so is Jack, though. What do you have to say about this? I'm sorry. Lieutenant I'm... said, oh. Lieutenant just lost his first stock. But Red Panda is also pretty high, so Lieutenant can easily capitalize. And he did. Good dare from Jack. Bird now on his last stock. Red Panda uh, at two stocks. A lot closer than the last games have been. Uh, this could go to a game five. Here's like, here's like Jack has a really high dangerous percentage. Yeah, dead to almost any good sweet spot from a uh, from Lucas or just one good back air from a uh, from Falco. Great up smash though, doing high very high damage. Bird and Red Panda could just try to keep Jack off stage. Oh, uh, very close. Um, Bird and Jack both on their last stock. Uh, Bird just being very high percent though, could end up going to a 1v1 situation for uh, for Red Panda pretty early. Lieutenant is really good when it comes to his projectile usage, like he yeah. knows like what's good for any given situation. Definitely seems to be a very Belmont like character specialist. 
both uh, Bird and Jack on their last stock. Uh, not, not Bird and Jack, sorry. Bird and Red Panda. Carney on their last leg. Uh, Lieutenant pretty close to dying too himself though. Oh. And his town platform saving him, letting him have pretty easy recovery back. Lieutenant's got to be careful not to get iced. Might be dead here. No, oh, whip, use, use the whip him. to recover. I would start uh, like focusing on Bird like that. And just like that, it's all down to Red Panda. Red Panda, pretty low percentage, but Lieutenant still has an extra stock to work with. And I'm confident that he could win these uh, 1v1s if Jack ends up going out. Oh, good up smash. Lieutenant and Jack on their final stock, 2-1. to one. If Red Panda plays his cards right, he can win. Yeah, going to a game five. I recommend really going for Jack at this point, given how his high percentage and... Yeah. yeah just as... And also the fact that you need to be close to the station over the harbor. Oh, Jack's yeah. gone. Now at a 1v1. First 1v1 we've seen on this stream, I believe. This is a pretty even match when it comes to, like, percentage. Oh. Yeah, we'll just have to see who can... Get away with their ledge more. Good drag down there. Ooh, good conversions. Missing that up air. Could have had something good really good there. Good on the hand of Lieutenant. Good back air, spacing. Uh, keeping this ledge set up really well. Keeping Red Panda trapped, as you want to do with Belmont. Not really able to get off ledge. Finally getting off, though. Not really getting too much. Right back off stage. Missing the up air, could have closed out that stock, but who knows. Forward air, PK freeze, missing it. You gotta be careful not to get frozen. Extremely tense game four, could be the final uh, final game of the set if Lieutenant can close this out. Good four oh. smash, taking that game. Oh. And just like that, Red Panda closes out the match. We're going on to re for round five. Curious to see what what stage they're going to be going to. They might go back to PS2, as that's been what they've done best at so far. All right, stay tuned. I do think that uh, that sub out for uh, from Serdal to Jack was very good for them, though. Uh, Serdal, great player, just wasn't playing too well around like these combo heavy characters, just getting beat up too much for for their liking. And they're going to P PlayStation. PlayStation Two. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Pokemon Stadium 2. Going. Isabel. Is it? Oh. Ah. Never mind. <laughs> Unfortunate. Well, okay. Better um, for me. That character is so boring. Our expectations were subverted, were they not? <laughs> I suppose. Alright, looks like they're going for the same setup. M5. I'm honestly kind of shocked that, uh,. This is like the first game we've gone to Game 5, right? Uh, I think we've had one more Game 5, but I don't think it's ever been this competitive. Uh, when we get finally down to these like final couple people, though, definitely going to be much uh, much less lenient, much more strict on like how much you can get away with. Uh, much closer together in skill level as well. Oh, excellent trapping by Lieutenant. Yeah, they're starting off very high damage. Uh, almost 70%. 70% near 90 on Bird in the first less than 30 seconds of the game. Can he get the stock this early? Trying to ledge trap him. Oh, grabs his fire. Got the fire, missing that F smash. Tried to get a hard read from Jack. Calming his own teammate, but it's okay. Looks like Red Panda's focusing on Jack while Lieutenant is... Oh, trade off. Lieutenant has to have one of the best F tilts in the game with how high damage that is and how quick it is. He can just throw that out and get uh, good, good kills without having to work too hard for it. He can deal damage very easily and very quickly. Yeah, especially if he can keep racking up damage with these edge guards. Well, Catching him like off the ledge. Throw. High damage. Both players playing their own 1v1. Jack dying first, though. Both Carney players very high percent, however. It can still be anyone's game. Oh, and Bird is sent it flying. But um. Uh, um, Red Panda, 130, or 140 even, finally dying to that back air. Lieutenant? Jack, Joe, Jack's dead. Jack on his final stock, Lieutenant still on his first, while Bird and Red Panda are both, uh, 
The guy's got to be careful not to take, it, to take as less hits as possible because if they want a chance, they got to focus on getting Bird and Red Panda down. If Lieutenant can keep these stocks, though, I do think that uh, they might just take the stock and uh, and go to a 1v1. Ooh. Set fire, just set fire to Jack. Yeah. Keep setting fire to Jack. Keeps uh, hitting his opponent. Missing that F smash. Gonna be pretty bad. Lieutenant Ooh, finally losing his first stock. Look like, at uh, Jack is focusing on Bird and Red Panda on Lieutenant. Yeah. Not really playing that 2v1 oh, as they were before. smash thinks Bird with one stock. <coughs> Lieutenant playing very well at the oh, sledge. It's all, it's all down. Oh, stock steal. Yeah. Honestly, not a bad stock steal, considering how close Red Panda is to death, most likely. Uh, this could... Is a, looking a pretty good for Carney, could, though. A lucky hit could take away Red Panda's second stock. Ooh. He Getting held intercepted. Because they didn't want to hit, they didn't want to hit Jack. Sorry, yeah. Dude. Lucas is so good at just moving around and, like, honestly, he's honestly in a good way. Oh, great back air. Oh. Jack now having to play this 1v1 at 107. Gonna be really hard to uh, catch up here. Good drag down forward oh. air. Up tilt, missing the back air. Up air, up air by Falco. And Falco back air. Back air. Taking that. Wins, that. that Three two. Wins Carney the set. Yeah, Gretna going down in a very, very close set. I believed in it. I believed in Lieutenant. It happens. Everyone check him a round of applause. Yeah. And great set. And we'll, we're gonna see who they're fighting in the near distant future. Meanwhile, yeah. stay tuned. Yeah, we'll be back. Thank you.